just imagine. Wow, to stop the SNA banking committee conduct the years of crash. Well, this is a good headline. It was from 1932. Pecora hearings is the name. The 1929 crash ended an eight year bull market fueled by speculation and stock manipulation. By mid 1932, stock listed on the New York Exchange lost 83 of their pre crash value. Well, that was a headline from an old newspaper from 1932. And this is the subject for today. Some headlines and news from the past um, that were written in famous newspapers. I'm going to read them with a very calming voice and with some audible whisper. So this, I think, will be the perfect ASMR sip for a good session. So let's start. I'm in the 1930s with a newspaper. So let's see. Let's find out some interesting headlines and news that reconstruction was a congress charter no this is not worth mentioning federal security laws okay federal security laws drafted felix frank harter an expert in administrative law at Harvard University was summoned to Washington to draft what was to become the Security Act of 1933. Mm -hmm. This was another headline. I see. Oh. This is a social one, and it's a panicking one. Wall Street strike in the protest of securities of Act of 1933. This is a consequence of the last news. Major Wall Street firms refused to bring new issues of stock to the market. Hmm. All right. Next, we are in 1934. Okay, I thought the commission back on November. Hmm. Paul Mac, okay. SAC opens regional offices. The US Security and Exchange Commission opened at regional offices in Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Denver, Fort Worth, New York, and San Francisco. All right, another headline. Accounting professional manager. The American Society of Industrial Development. Industrial Development Bonds. Mississippi was the first state to issue industrial development bonds in an effort to use the state financing power to build up private industry. Good. The Revenue Act. The Revenue Act, backed by the investment management firms, accorded special tax treatment to open and at mutual funds, which the legislation dubbed mutual investment companies, making them more attractive. Mm. 
we are in 1937 now all right 1938 oh. New York Stock Exchange governance reorganized this is a big headline title on a uh, the New York Stock Exchange reorganized its governance structure after March 7. Hmm. Else we are in 1939. World War II begins. And there is another here mention the Russo Finnish War. Well, let's move to the next timeline in the 40s. Well, in the 40s, Winston, at the beginning, in the 1940s, Winston Churchill becomes British Prime Minister. Battle of Britain. Man. In 42, U.S. interns, Japanese, Americans, and the starting of Manhattan Project. Good. New York Regional Office and the Shingle Tower. It is Charles Hugh Sack decision the second circuit and how the sect see shingle theory hmm. the T day this is on the like uh, the Americans wrote in their newspaper headlines how they uh, news about the War in Europe, on the Europe soil, Battle of the Bilge. Hmm. And we are now in 1945. Another headline, Roosevelt dies, Harry Truman, new president. The Yalta Conference. And the biggest one, it's U.S. drops atomic bombs on Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And after, today is the next headline, World War, World War II ends in New York Times. That was an entire newspaper dedicated to the World War II. Why? Right, uh, the judge is a secret in the Supreme Court of Canada. Well, let's move next. 1947, another headline X1 breaks the sound barrier. The Marshall Plan. Marshall plan to help reconstructing Europe after ravages of the Second World War. Another headline India and Pakistan gain independence. State of Israel founded. North and South Korea divided. Hmm. Right. And in 1949, the next headlines were NATO, North Atlantic 
organiz uh, treaty organization established. And South Africa institutes apartheid. All right. Let's move to the 50s now. Well, first in the 50s, it's the Korean War. Another history page in the US. Oh, here is something very useful. Uh, Xerox machine introduced. All right. The Arizona Security Act. So, the Arizona Security Act was passed two years after its State Security Commission. Hmm. 1952, Dwight Eisenhower elected as president. And Queen Elizabeth II ascension. 1953 Joseph Stalin dies the Korean War Armistice hmm. 1954 Oh, there's a proxy Oh, here is a very interesting one and it's handed the title is The Uranium Stock Boom the US-Soviet nuclear arms race inspired unscrupulous brokers to begin promoting uranium mines, penny stocks, many of them worthless. In 1954, as boiler rooms sprang up and sales of these dubious issues skyrocketed, the Denver Regional, Regional Office made uranium issues a specialty and opened a branch office in Salt Lake City. Come on, they use. They speculated the uranium enrichment arm race and they put uranium on stock. So uranium mine penny stocks. Oh my god. Alright, another headline is entitled Own Your Share of American Business. The New York Stock Exchange uh, in the commas own your share of American business campaign launched efforts by a major stock exchange to attract a broadened shareholding public promising greater power over corporate behavior to investors exchange added to their listing standards for shareholders meetings why? That was 54. Vietnam divided. Okay, this is a military news or headline. USS Nautilus, first atomic submarine. Nineteen fifty-five, Warsaw Pact formed. Uh, in 56, Hungarian uprising and the Suez Canal crisis. Hmm. 1957, Sputnik satellite launched by the Soviets. Nineteen 
1958, NASA Project Mercury. And European Economic Community Common Market. Uh, now it's very known as the Uni United Europe. But back then was just a project named European Economic Community or Common Market. This is how the precursors of EU United Europe started. 1959, Castro takes power in Cuba. Hmm. Oh, General Code of Ethics for Government Service. Congress adopted a General Code of Ethics for officials and employees of the federal government. Two decades later, in 1978, the Ethics in Government Act mandated annual public financial disclosure by all senior federal personnel. Hmm. All right, let's move to the 60s timelines. And first, in the 60s, we have news about John Kennedy. First news is John Kennedy elected as president. U-2 mm. spy plane shot down over Russia. Well, that was Soviet Union back then. In 1961, Berlin Wall erected. And the Bay of Pigs, that's in Cuba. Wow. 1961, Gagarin first orbit Earth, New York Times. In 62, Cuban Missile Crisis, big one, Washington Post. Okay. Market break, this is a big one. Market break on my May 28, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell by 5.7%. The second largest point decline on the record record for was so that's the ticket that was was the cost to touch ticket a report by the US Securities and Exchange Commission found that specially stopped st specially stopped training when liquidity was urgently needed. And that was 1962. Okay, 1963. I think the most important is that Kennedy was assassinated and Lyndon Johnson president temporary. Hmm. 1964. Nelson Mandela sentenced to life imprisonment and Khrushchev deposed in the Soviet Union. Nikita Khrushchev. Oh, okay. Another important headline is that US Surgeon General affirms cigarette smoking causes cancer. Nineteen sixty-five, first spacewalks. Okay, 
and Malcolm X assassinated. Big title, US combat troops in Vietnam, 1966, China's Cultural Revolution. Hmm. 1967, Israeli Arab Six Day War, and this is some medical news. First successful heart transplant, 1967. 1968, assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert Kennedy. And Richard Nixon is elected as president. Space news or science news, Apollo 8 orbits the moon. Hmm. 1969. Apollo 11 lands on the moon. It's not the Pacific Ocean test. Oh, another one. A word mentioning the Woodstock Festival started. Oh, the hippie movement, right. These were the important in the 60s, the headline. Now let's move to the 70s. US invades Cambodia in the 70s. And IBM introduced the floppy disk. That big one, first one. The precursor of the U.S. bus flash drive, the ancestor. Hmm. What is the Pan Central bankruptcy. The failure of Pan Central was then the largest bankruptcy in the United States. The result of the 1965 merger of the New York Central and Pennsylvania Railroads, Penn Central, acquired many non-rail business in the era of conglomerates. The federal government staff to preserve need rail service. After the hmm. All right, now we are in 1971. Voting aged lower to 18. After that, you are like fashion test. US and trade embargo against China. Very important, a science one. First email sent across network, and that was 1971. Nineteen seventy two. Big headline Watergate breaks in. And another one Israeli athletes killed at Olympic Games. That was in Munich. Okay, Dow Jones breaks one thousand on on November 14, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above 1,000 for the first time. This is stock market news. 1973, Watergate's or Watergate case hearings. 
U.S. Vietnam prisoners of war released. That's not discovery vessel, does it? That's not. Pinochet cop in Chile. That's not a All right, 1974, very interesting turnover in the politics in the United States. Nixon resigns as a consequence of the Watergate. And Gerald Ford, the new president. All right. 1975. U.S. pulls out of Vietnam. And Lebanese civil war started. Oh, New York City bound crisis. New York City was unable to access the public credit markets because of questions about its ability to pay outstanding obligations. In July 1975, Mac issued $1 billion bonds to assist restructuring New York City's debts. The federal government's subsequent debt to guarantee eventually eased the situation, but cast a further spotlight on municipal financing. financing. Hmm. 1976, Jimmy Carter elected as a president. Nineteen seventy seven Vietnam draft evaders pardoned. Nineteen seventy eight Pope John Paul the Second. So Pope John Paul the Second was elected. It was the first non-Italian Pope elected. Nineteen seventy-nine, U.S. hostages taken in Iran, and USSR invades Afghanistan. Margaret Thatcher becomes British Premier. Mm. The Francis Teleski pointed. Special industry pointed. Okay. Okay, let's move to the 1980s. First, Ronald Reagan elected as president. So, just Iran Iraq War. Nineteen eighty one Iranian hostage released. Assassination attempt on Reagan and Pope John Paul II, 1982, British Falklands War, First Ratification Report Act, Supreme Doors, NASDAQ, NASDAQ National Market System, the NASDAQ National Market System offered price and volume information on a select list of heavily tracked stocks within 19 seconds after execution. Hmm. 1983 Sally Ride, first US woman astronaut 
and the United States invades Granada. Nineteen eighty four, the Macintosh computer Indira Gandhi assassinated. Hmm. Imagine eighty five. In nineteen eighty five, Mikhail Gorbachev institutes glass notes and press strike in the USSR. Hmm. Nineteen eighty six Challenger explodes and a Chernobyl nuclear re accident. Take it down the top. Nineteen eighty seven October market break. During the October the financial markets experienced extraordinary Volatility. 1988. George Bush elected as a president. Hmm. Penny stock task force to combat fraud in the market for penny stocks, stocks that trade for less than one dollar. The U.S. Security and Exchange Commission convention. Convened the Penny Stock Task Force. 1981, 1989, Tiananmen Square Massacre, and the Berlin Wall Falls. World Wide Web Server and Browser started. So that's how internet started. Or browsing on the internet. All right, let's move to the 90s. First, the Persian Gulf War in the 90s. 1990s. Reunification of Germany. And Nelson Mandela Freed. Hubble Space Telescope launched. Security for space. 1991. I think what's most important here that the headline that's crossed over the world in all the newspaper is that USSR breaks up. And Boris Yeltsin elected as the first Russian Republic president. Uh, another consequence was that the Warsaw Pact was dissolved. 1992. William Clinton elected as president. 1993. European Union formed for Prudential Investor Protection Trust. Exchange traded funds. State Street Global Advisor created an index fund which, rather than sold at net asset value at the end of the day, could be traded at current market price on an exchange. ATFs required exemptions. 1994. Mandela elected a South, Amer a South African president. All day, so never 1995. Oklahoma City bombing. Hmm. 1996. Taliban sees Kabul and Dolly, the first cloned sheep. The first cloned sheep. Nineteen 
1997, Hong Kong returned to China. Nineteen ninety nine, Euro currency and the Kosovo War. Okay, now let's move to the two thousands. Well, the first in the two thousand, George W. Bush elected as a president, and Vladimir Putin elected as a Russian president. First Global Index, the S&P Global 100 Index, launched on February 7, was the first equity stock index covering global companies. 2001, 11 September, Al-Qaeda attacks on World Trade Center and Pentagon. Markets close in wake of terrorist attacks. Two thousand two. The Department of Homeland Security established. Two thousand three. Invasion of Iraq. Two thousand four tsunami in Asia and Facebook appears. Two thousand five Hurricane Katrina and Angela Merkel became becomes German Chancellor. Two thousand six Mars reconnaissance. Orbiter. Pluto is reclassified as a dwarf planet and it's not considered a planet anymore. Twitter appears. Two thousand and seven. Nancy Pelosi, first woman speaker on the of the house iPhone appears. 2008, Barack Obama elected as president and Fidel Castro steps down as a Cuban president. 2009, Bitcoin appears. All right, and now let's go to the to in the 2010s and first in 2010 is the wikileaks flash crash google that's 2011 of bin laden and gaddafi arab spring movement 2012 Higgs boson discover. 2014 US resumes diplomatic relations with Cuba and Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Two thousand fifteen Black Lives Matter and the European Refugees Crisis. Two thousand sixteen Donald Trump elected as a president and the Zika virus and the Brexit UK. UK votes to exit European Union. And that's where all the 
breaking news, important headlines from the 1930s to the 2010s. Wow, that was quite a long session of ASMR. I hope you enjoy this and please leave a comment below what uh, part you enjoy the most or what could be improved in such sessions. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.